this is how my mother's car gets stolen. The guys are driving by, scoping the area out. I slowed it down just to kind of show what kind of car it was, which I have no clue. If anybody in Orlando knows whose car that is, comment below. <laughs> okay, so I sped this up a little bit here, and um, uh, they come around a the corner. They open up my truck because Dummy left his truck open with his mother's keys in the glove box because what ended up happening is when my mother was leaving town, she said, here's my keys, and she left them in my cup holder. Well, I threw them in a glove box. So um, they found a key. And um, that's how they got into my mother's car. But uh, after all of this and while I'm editing this video, you know what? I'm happy that the, doors were, uh, the door was left open because you see this guy, he's coming up here. He's trying to open it. Oh, this is where the camera, gets, uh, the camera stops recording uh, and then it restarted again. But I guess somebody pressed the button now and unlocked my mother's car because now, uh, now the lights go on. Uh, they're playing around over there. He gives them a key. And uh, there it is. This is where he starts to uh, look through the car. And I can see he grabs a wad of keys. So hopefully my mother didn't have anything important over there. Um, there you go. He grabs some keys. But uh, they drive off. And then you'll see they, they go down a block. Uh, they go about four miles and back it into uh, a parking space, which uh, from the tow truck driver, I found out they back it in so nobody can see the license plate. And they were nice enough to even lock the vehicle. So they locked it. Uh, they kept the key. We couldn't find the key later. And um, so we had to, 1400 bucks to get, 13 or 1400 bucks to get uh, uh, two new keys for the car. The guy came out, that's in the video coming up shortly. But uh, here's where they drive it off. And again, you know, I'm happy that I uh, left it unlocked. I don't know what your train of thought because um, you'll see they park it next to somebody that has busted out windows. So they didn't break my mother's windows. So I wake up in the morning, I go out in the driveway because I got Johnny working on ERV. I'm like, where's my mother's car? And he said he was wondering the same thing. So... I'm shaking. I uh, checked the GPS because we have a few GPSs in, in, uh, in our cars. And I see where it is at some apartment complex uh, almost four miles away. So, yeah, they have a few areas where they slammed on a brake, hard braking. Their uh, rapid acceleration, I guess, is checking out my mother's car to see uh, how it accelerates. Uh, but long story short, so here it is now in the, uh, in the back of a parking lot at some apartment complex. So I end up uh, jumping in the car and, or in my truck with Johnny and I'm calling the police. I'm saying that my mother's car was stolen and I'm on my way there and I'll be there at a certain time. And she goes, is it, report, is it, is it reported stolen? I said, well, no, I haven't reported stolen yet, but I guess I'm calling right now. And she says, well, you have to report it stolen first. I said, okay, well, I'd like to report a stolen vehicle. And she says, well, you can't report a stolen vehicle uh, by calling. You have to go uh, come into the office. And, and report it stolen. I said, well, I said, I don't have time right now. I'm going to the location. So if you want to send a cop car over there, I'll be there. But, uh, um, oh, I just got a text message. But uh, um, other than that, I don't have time to uh, go into the station and report it stolen. So if you want to send somebody over there, I'll be there. She goes, do you have any weapons on you? I'm like, my truck. And she started laughing. But I said, I'm on my way over there right now. So as I was driving over to the, uh, to the location where I saw my mother's car, uh, I met up with the police officers. I saw them driving, so uh, so I ended up following them to the location. And here it is. All right, Ma. I don't know if I'm gonna send you this video. Holy shit. Look at the nice parking job. Oh, they took the rear view mirror. There's my mother's glasses. And then a bag. They, oh my God. Okay, so now the question is, is do, are we allowed to touch it or whatever, or what no, happens? I'm process the vehicle. Okay, all right, thank you. But like I said, you wanna press charges and all that stuff? Um, so here's the car. So I guess we're not gonna press charges because I don't want Adriana, and whatever it is to be all. But look at this car. Huh. We decided not to press charges because 
then I got to go to court. My mother's got to go to court. And then we got to watch our backs at the house. And there's my buddy Johnny that's rebuilding the RV. Yeah, look, change all over. What is... Oh, wait a minute. Look. Is it even drivable? So I guess the back tires roll when the brake's on, or? My mother's away. She doesn't even know her car was stolen yet. <laughs> oh my God. What a day, what a day. Who do we have here? Hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Good, good, how are you? So how many cars do you repo? <laughs> 20 a month 20 a month, holy cow oh, So that's how he does it He's going to put it on his own dolly Now when he's towing it Everybody's going to think it's a repo Every time I see a tow truck Pulling the car like this I say, ah, somebody didn't make their payments Or do I just clean it up, put it back in the driveway and tell my mother nothing happened? <laughs> oh God. Johnny, you gotta finish my RV so I can have my driveway back. I'm on it, brother. Oh, that's how you look at that. Damn boy. Look at that. Huh? Oh great. Yeah. <laughs> and now it goes off. Now it's definitely gonna look like a repo. If you don't get pulled over by the cops, you're in good shape. That's it? That's it for the alarm? Unless the guy shut it off from his window up there somewhere since he still has the key. That's it, just 30 seconds? For how much that car used to cost new, it should be on for more than 30 seconds. We were supposed to go to the Bentley dealership, but what he's doing is he's calling one of his friends because apparently his friend uh, can potentially make a key for it. So uh, that's the plan. Maybe take it back to my house and block it in with my truck. <laughs> block it in with the RV. Oh my God. And I just got in touch with the guy that owns the uh, cab over there. I sent him pictures. So, uh, I mean, he didn't even know it was stolen. So, I mean, that's weird. All right, so what we decided was we're gonna take it home and then his buddy's gonna end up making the key for it. But hopefully he can come today because he said he might not be able to come today. So hopefully he comes today because those guys have a key to it, whoever stole it. And I just don't want to leave it in front of my house like that. Okay, so now the alarm's not going off because over there there were speed bumps and over here there's no speed bumps, so. Get, finish my RV so I can put the car in there, damn it. Yes, 
And that's the camera that caught all the action. All right, so here he is. $1,300 for two keys. How did the window open? I missed it. I was on a telephone. The window opened up for yeah. you? No, when you turn the keys to the unlock and you hold it, it's when the window. Oh, that's how it works? I missed it. Okay. Nope. took the rear view mirror and what is that sticker there? I put this back in, but I don't know. This is messed up here, so I don't know if something belongs there or not. We try to release the, the shifter. Release it? What do you mean? To put it in neutral. To put it in neutral? Mm -hmm. But if they had the key, why would they want to put it in neutral? Yeah, that's true. I didn't know what they tried to do before the keys. I'm sorry? I didn't know what they tried to do. It looked like they, they pressed this button here. Oh, there's a button there? Oops, oops, oops. Wait. It like some lever here. We're going to figure out. Let's see. Oh, so there's something that they press in there to unlock to... To release the shifter, but I don't know why they do that, but... Why would there be? I wonder if my mother had a pressure washer in here. <laughs> why there's a... Look at that, they got it running. Nice. Now I can't wait to take it for a ride to see how it runs. Okay, so here it is, we got it. So who do we have here? Who do we have here? Mo. All right, so how do they get in touch with you if they if they get locked out? Uh, you can call us on We Do Locksmith. Orlando. What's the number? Uh, 321-616-6649. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Enjoy, buddy. All right. So here it is the next day. Edgar is here to clean it up. My mother's out of town. She's not coming back until tomorrow morning. Uh-oh. I still haven't told her it was stolen. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Everything for you. What the hell is going on? Is this the hazmat team working on my mother's car now? No, man, this is some, uh, <laughs> uh, we need to call it the Environmental Protection Agency. <laughs> What's going on 
<laughs> Environmental <laughs> Protection Agency taking care of her car. That's great. Another thing is doing good job in the trailer. He's I doing good in the RV, huh? Different. That's why he's dressed like that today. He's painting. He's painting? Yeah. Look at that, brand new. Looking inside. Nice. Hey, you're all right. You pay me. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> 